The entire electric vehicle community seems to have been yearning for a revolution for the past decade or so, and Mercedes-Benz decided to lead the entire industry when it acquired Yassa, the technology company in the UK that's in possession of axial flux motor technology. Mercedes' brand new engine could disrupt the entire electric car industry as they recently introduced a new model that's a completely new way of thinking. Even though it's an electric engine, it works completely different from functions we've seen in Tesla and older electric vehicle models with four times increased performance. However, the world always operates with differences and challenges in this transition in the future. So, how does this axial flux motor impact the EV industry? Join us to find out the latest news in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel where we talk about everything about Tesla. Before we begin, Please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started. Previous types of electric vehicle motors will soon become obsolete when German car company Mercedes acquired Yassa Motor Technology Company, which currently holds axial flux motor technology. Integrating the motor in the wheel can significantly change the mechanical design and allow independent control of the wheel to increase the electric vehicle agility that enables an all-electric Mercedes AMG performance car is always one step ahead of the competition in the future. So, what's the efficiency that the axial flux motor brings to the EV? Although smaller in size and weight than conventional electrical motors, the new motor that Yasa built has a much more groundbreaking torque capacity than conventional motors in the current electric vehicle market. This incredible acceleration of EV starts with torque and Yasa Axial Flux takes this to the next level. The increased radius of the axial machine increases the number instantly, something that could not be done within the heavy limitations of a machine with a radial engine. Combined with much shorter optimized copper windings, the result is an electric motor with up to 800 Nm of power, four times the torque density of other electric motors we had seen before. The Yasser motor topology also eliminates stator yokes, reducing the iron mass of this stator by up to 80%, a key factor in significantly reducing the weight weighing on the motor. This innovation offers significant power density and range advantages of 5-10% to over the radial electric motors on which most mass market EVs today rely on. Power transmitted from the engine directly to the wheels also reduces the distance force travels which increases the efficiency of the engine, such as in-city driving conditions, where an internal combustion engine can only run at 20 efficiency, meaning that most of its power is lost or wasted through mechanical methods used to transfer power to the wheels. The same goes for an axial flux motor in the wheel, which is said to be able to operate at about 90% efficiency, much higher than a conventional electric motor. In addition, when Mercedes combines with an axial motor, it can produce more than 600 horsepower with a weight of only 50 pounds. It seems that this lighter engine will use less electricity and produce a better maximum power. This is detected when the electric motor can become hot during operation, especially when operating at max power. Yasa says direct oil cooling allows its engines to achieve higher levels of continuous power. A 200 kilowatt peak power radial motor, when running continuously, can typically deliver about 50% of the 80 to 100 kilowatt peak power due to thermal limitations. In contrast, Yasa 200 kilowatt engine can run continuously at 150 kilowatts thanks to the improved high heat contact cooling oil. Consumers are demanding more performance from their electric vehicles. Automakers that can provide customers with higher levels of performance over the long term will have a significant market advantage. The ratio between power and weight of the engine block is truly a record number and much better than conventional electric motors. How does axial flux motor work? Each motor will be individually equipped to the wheels of the electric vehicle when the vehicle is operating. These wheels contain not only brake components, but also the functions that previously performed by the engine gearbox clutch suspension and other related components. This can be called a four-wheel steering system, providing instantaneous power and independent torque adjustment at each wheel for precise traction and control in all conditions allowing torque vectoring control. The ability to neutralize oversteer and understeer to keep the vehicle stable and responsive through responsive maneuvers when the engine is turned off. To make it easier to understand, when you're moving on the road and suddenly have to brake to avoid collision with surrounding objects, at this time, EVs equipped with internal axial flux motors 
will immediately stop the wheel even though the time is insignificant, but when combined with the brake, it will give it a very impressive effect. The reason is that the electric motor is installed inside the wheel and drives directly without the need for a transmission wire. The time it takes to drive the drive to the wheel is the time that leads to oversteer or understeer. This can ensure that the full output power of the engine is always available at the wheels without any loss in the mechanical transmission. Meanwhile, each motor will be equipped with sensors to determine the amount of torque needed at any time when the vehicle is operating. Their smaller size when applied right at the wheel allows torque vectoring to provide precise control of the amount of power the engine sends to each individual wheel for improved traction and into the corner. That's why Mercedes plans to use axial flux engines for the future AMG line by 2025. What are the advantages and disadvantages that exist on axial flux motor? Advantages? The axial flux is located right next to the wheel, so it really shows the ease of installation, replacement, and repair. When the wheels are removed, the motor is right at the view. Also adding versatility is that they can be used to power rear or front wheel drive vehicles as well as all-wheel drive vehicles without many challenges to the powertrain. They are compact in size because the entire motor is inside the wheel and is only about a quarter the size of a regular motor so it saves storage space inside the vehicle for parts or other goods. On the hub motor side, there's practically no hub motor as the motors are divided equally between the wheels so this eliminates the need for a gearbox, differential, and heavy axles and reduces mechanical loss to make your car or truck run smoother. With electronic motor control, it's possible to fine-tune each hub motor's torque, RPM, and even direction of spin. This means features such as an anti-lock braking system, traction control, and even cruise control can be handled by a single master controller. There's even the possibility of adding new previously impossible or at least impractical features. For example, having the right wheels turn one way and the left wheels turn the opposite direction could give the car a near zero turning radius for getting out of tight parking spots. Disadvantages The major challenge facing hub motors is the issue of unsprung weight. Unsprung weight is the mass of all components not supported by a car's suspension. Contrary, sprung weight is the mass supported by the suspension, including the frame, motor, passengers, and body. Unsprung weight includes wheels, tires, and brakes, and it travels up and down over any bumps, potholes, and debris as it tries to follow the contours of the road. The sprung mass, however, is shielded from most of these movements, especially the smaller ones by the suspension. The sprung weight and suspension act to press down on the wheels so that they are in contact with the road. As a rule, Designers try to minimize unsprung weight to improve handling and steering. Lighter wheels and tires also mean it takes less energy to spin them or bring them to a stop. So hub adding motors could greatly increase the unsprung weight and hurt performance. Another approach is to remove the cast iron friction brake assembly, replace it with a hub motor that weighs about the same as the assembly, and let the car rely on regenerative braking. But one of the side effects of shaving the weight off of engineered components is reduced durability. And with hub motors, being part of the vehicle's unsprung weight, they'll feel the impact of every pothole bump and high-speed turn. They'll also be exposed to road dirt, mud, and water that can reduce the life of the motors. Besides, the cost to build an internal engine is more expensive than an engine mounted on the rear axle. So currently, in the EV market, you can only see a few new luxury car models or supercars that can be equipped with this technology. History of the Actual Flux Motor on Mercedes Axial flux and radial flux were recognized as potential EV motors in the 1800s. In 1821, Michael Faraday developed a primitive disc motor that took the form of an axial flux machine. Decades later, both of these technologies were explored, but despite their potential to reduce weight, the difficulty in manufacturing axial flux technology has limited the development of this motor at present. Although there are many different types of axial motors, the improvement issue that Yasa pays attention to is that they require a lot of diameter. So a completely new motor linkage structure was researched and developed by Yasa. It's called the yokeless and segmented armature. In addition, its commercial viability appears to be difficult since the motor cannot be made by stacking thin layers, as with radio machines. The axial flux design also suffers from other problems, including poor cooling leading to high torque density difficulties, including controlling complex axial air gaps and windings. Despite these challenges, YASA founder Tim Woolmer began researching axial flux motors incorporating new materials in the hopes of finding new solutions to these problems. 
Yes's mechanical technology has only been seen in low-volume hybrids like McLarens and Ferraris in the past, but we're about to see a lot more, and for good reason as we dive into the field of electrification and the use of flux axial torque on Mercedes in the future. For a good example of the opposite of this effect, look at GM's Hummer EV. Its 212 kilowatt hour battery only provides about 330 miles of range. The body structure and other systems needed to support the massive truck weighs up to 3,000 pounds, which already make the truck up to 9,000. Is this the future of the EV industry? It's difficult to make a judgment between Tesla's affordable models and supercars like Ferraris and Mercedes while Tesla is planning to launch an affordable car worth $20,000 and innovate. Performance improvements are based on design changes, not on expensive engines. Building a new engine structure will be more expensive and we have to pay a huge amount of money when buying a car. Supercar models using this engine technology are often worth up to hundreds of thousands of dollars and we know that it's not just the expensive engine that contributes to the cost. Yasa appears to be the equivalent technology and part of the solution of the motor problem. Its adoption will increase choice in the electric vehicle market. Ultimately, the radial flux motor seems hard to beat because there are many technical challenges that need to be overcome to make axial flux motors manufacturable and efficient on a larger scale. What do you think about this issue? And would luxury or popular car models be your choice of the future? Let us know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking that bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.